Remove color matting is found under the channel category. And if I find that effect and apply it to my logo here, it doesn't really do anything that I want it to. I'm kind of getting this fringing happening. What this effect is actually meant to do is remove this type of haloing that comes from pre-multiplied alpha channels. And if you don't know what that is, you can look it up, but basically it's when a source footage item, whether it's an image or actual video, has an alpha channel with semi-transparent pixels around the edges that are bleeding through to the original background. So this could be a stock photo or video that was shot on a white background and then cut out. On the edges of that alpha channel, it might have that white matting behind it. So I'm actually going to artificially generate that on my logo here. This is not a pre-multiplied image, but I can create something much like it if I just add a solid composite effect behind it. So now I have a white background behind my logo. And then I add a CC composite effect right after that uncheck RGB only and use the composite original mode of stencil alpha, which is all the way near the bottom of the list. And now if I zoom in, you can see those semi-transparent pixels around the edges of my alpha channel are now bleeding through to that white solid composite that I added behind it. So without those effects on, this is what the alpha channel looks like. And with them on, I've basically created a pre-multiplied alpha channel. Now, if I bring remove color matting back down after those effects and turn it back on, it makes the problem worse. And that's because the background color is set to black by default. Background color is the color that you want to remove. So I'm gonna change this to the same color that we set the solid composite to, white. And just like that, it removes those partially white pixels. And it does a really good job of it. Now there's no tolerance or strength settings for this effect. The only thing we can change besides the background color is clipping, which is set to clip HDR results, meaning that it's not including any HDR results right now. It's just clamping them off at pure black or pure white. If you're working with HDR footage, then you can uncheck that and it will allow for those HDR values. But that's all there is to remove color matting. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.